This morning, our first speaker is Mike McCormick. Mike recently joined Toastmasters looking to improve his public speaking skills. He admits that while he has quite a bit of experience with public speaking, he has never really felt comfortable with it and knows he certainly has room for improvement. This is his icebreaker speech and where the process, where the progress begins. This is a four to six minute speech. Please welcome Mike on his first speech. Richie Valens and Buddy Holly had been killed in a plane crash. The tension between the U.S. and Russia could be felt. James Garner starred in a very popular television show called The Maverick. And this is when I entered the world, 1959. To say I was born in the 50s is the truth, but only barely. I had 11 days left in the year. I made my grand entrance in London, England. Coming from a military family with three, with two brothers and one sister, we traveled around the world, mainly focused in England, Italy, in the U.S. My mother was actually British. My mother and father met in a small village in Yorkshire, England. For some reason, and I still have a difficult time understanding it, my parents decided to move to South Dakota upon my father's retirement from the Air Force. It's one of the most chilling Bone chilling places I've ever lived. <laughs> and that's where I attended high school, Brooklyn, South Dakota, graduating in 1977. Upon graduation, I went to a fairly small college in the same town, uh, Brookings, South Dakota State University. It was a small, once again, agricultural college, also known as the home of the Jackrabbits. <laughs> Spent four years there and obtained a, a bachelor's degree in sociology. Upon graduation, my parents had actually moved to Hot Springs. They'd made a very wise decision uh, to get away from the cold. So upon my graduation, I decided to come to Hot Springs for a couple of weeks prior to moving to Tulsa, Oklahoma to start a career in law enforcement. Well. To make a long story short, I never left Hot Springs. I was hired at the Sheriff's Office early in 1982 as a jailer. And that's where my career begins in law enforcement. Shortly thereafter, I was hired by the police department. And that's where I spent the next 30 years. Had a very uh, diverse list of assignments all the way from a beginning patrol officer to being appointed interim chief before my retirement. One of the more interesting assignments I had was while I was working the street crimes. They had to have someone that they had the ultimate trust in for this particular assignment. And I felt honored that they, they chose me. My job was to enforce the city ordinances within the gentlemen's club, clubs throughout Hot Springs. In particular, I had to make sure the ladies were in compliance with what the ordinances required. It was a dirty job, 
<coughs> like we say, somebody had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Something that we all look forward to 30 years later was retirement. And I was ready. Put thousands of miles on my car, traveling from coast to coast, seeing the sights that I've never had the opportunity to see before. I spent a little bit of time in Europe. I spent time in Central America, Mexico. After a couple of years, I had all the peace and tranquility I could stand. <laughs> so that brings us to the year of the horse. Tensions between Russia and the U.S. are a little tense. James Garner has died. Marijuana is now legal in Washington and Colorado. My daughter is a senior in college at Colorado State, home of the Rams. The year is 2014. Madam Postmaster. But let's go for the form of evaluations. For our first speaker, Mike McCormick, the evaluator is Shane O'Brien. And Mike, you get to us. everyone here who has been a part of Toastmasters remember their icebreaker. I certainly remember mine. I think mine took mine about a year ago. It's kind of like an initiation. And I hope this won't be a hazing. <laughs> <laughs> to start your process is becoming a Toastmaster. And we love having you at the club. I've heard you speak with table topics, but never speak with a prepared speech before. And I've noticed the style straight away were completely different. You had great natural speaking abilities. The first question here is what strong points does the speaker already have? I thought your ability to tell a story and really bring in the audience into what you're trying to tell them is a great skill you already possess and probably something you can build on and really work into your speeches a whole lot more. How well did the audience get to know the speaker? I thought we got to know you very, very well. You discussed your birth in England, which I don't think anyone here might have known, and then moving to South Dakota, eventually down to here, and what was involved in all of that. So I think everyone got a good feel for, for how you came here to be part of Toastmasters this morning. Did the speech reflect adequate research and preparation? I thought, yes, you researched lots of facts about the date you were born, or at least a year, and then the current year this year mentioned lots of interesting facts, and possibly things that gave people or sparked their ideas as to what you were trying to talk about. Very, very clearly, and I know this might be ironic because I'm quiet myself, but I thought you could have been a little bit louder, but um, that's something that you can work on on, on your speaking. Did the speech have a definite opening, body, and conclusion? I thought very much so, you know, chronologically from date of birth to present day. And it's usually typical with an icebreaker, and I, thought, I think it works well. It's a real easy format to follow. And it was obviously that your opening brought everyone in, and then you built on that as you went on with your speech. Please comment on the speaker's use of notes. And I don't think I saw you use notes. You kept eye contact with the audience. You looked left and right. And that is a great way to go on and build on that without using notes and just shows what level of speaking ability you already possess just doing your first speech. What could the speaker have done differently? I thought you could have relaxed a little bit more up here, and I know it's tough to say giving your first speech, but I, I noticed you gripped the lectern like it was going to run away on you, <laughs> and you could have just relaxed a little bit more. I know I have a hard time to find out what to do with my hands, so I tend to do this a lot. You will eventually relax more comfortably at giving speeches, and the lecturer will say where it will be. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about the speech? I love your storytelling abilities and your way to bring the audience in. I thought that was a, a very great ability that you already possess. 
this, and I look forward to hearing the rest of your speeches. Thank you.